So whether you're just looking to make your first jump into sim racing or you've been in sim racing for a while and you haven't bought it just yet for whatever reason, here are five things that we here at Racing Games think you need to know about Assetto Corsa. Let's jump into it. So what exactly is there to know? As I've already said, if you're looking to make the jump into sim racing, then you've likely come across Assetto Corsa already, be it the console version or on PC. AC, as you may see it called, is the perfect gateway into sim racing, especially for those lucky enough to be on PC. Let's get into those five things right now. Now, first of all, it really is cheap. Whether you buy it in a sale or through some sort of key site, the game can now be had for as little as two or three pounds or dollars. I picked up the title and a bunch of DLC for around nine dollars. This included a heap of extra vehicles and tracks. If you're using a key site, you can also pick up a code for the game on console relatively cheap. Despite sim racing itself being incredibly expensive, Assetto Corsa seems to be one of the few titles making an effort to remove that barrier to entry, although this obviously has something to do with its age now. Next up, we've got the fact that it can be as difficult as you want it to be. Not all sim racing has to be complex setups, a mechanical or automotive engineering degree and calculators. In fact, now that I come to think of it, it virtually never is, but you get my point. Whilst the vehicles and setups may seem daunting, you don't have to be as in-depth as you may think. And, as always, for newcomers, there are plenty of assists that you can tune to your liking and turn off as you improve. In fact, this is the best way to learn the necessary skills for sim racing, or at least it is for most people. Learn to mod. From essentials like content manager to super specific mods like cars, tracks and even liveries, Assetto Corsa is still a fan favourite because of its huge modding community that continued to release incredible additions to the game all these years after its true release. For many, this will even include some of the videos you've seen elsewhere of cruises around Japanese highways and quiet English countryside roads which can all be found online and added into the game. Finally, for those looking for a completely different experience and with a powerful enough PC, you can add a completely new lease of life to the now rather old title. This comes in the form of graphics and shaders mods which can completely transform how the game looks. So in short, make sure you learn how to mod if you buy a Seto Corsa. Join online communities. Next up is, as I said, make sure to join some like-minded communities. This could be a forum or a Discord server, or even just a group of friends who play. However, racing against your friends rather than AI is a huge step up in terms of both the fun that you'll have and the rate at which you'll learn. And for those of you who are going to hop into some cruise servers, these are always more fun when you have a group of people that you like to drive with, obviously. And as I said, it is the perfect gateway. Assetto Corsa really is the perfect way to get into sim racing. An amalgamation of the above points, plus the fact that it's one of the most common sims out there, means that it is the perfect title to find your feet in. You may find a passion for formula racing, GT racing, open wheeler of some sort, or even just normal tin top. Either way, you'll end up discovering what it is about sim racing that you love, and you can plan your sim racing pathway from there. So, those are five things you should know about Assetto Corsa. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in another video here on the channel soon.